Hey everyone, what's going on? I've got some even more exciting news for Steven Universe. So just a couple of days ago, I did upload a video on Steven Universe of some episode titles that were going to air for August, but most of to none of them had even a synthesis or a description of what the episode was going to be about until now. So I did explain all the episodes that we're getting for August, all the way to August 1st, all the way to the last day of August. And now, like I said, we have finally got some description for these episodes, and some of these seem really interesting. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is the one that's going to air on August 4th, which is Bismuth, aka the 100th episode of Steven Universe. So, the, the description for this one reads, Steven discovers something the gems thought was lost to the past inside, inside of Lion's name, Maine. So, it's pretty obvious who this is going to be about. Of course, Bismuth. We have seen many things about Steven Universe, but we mainly know what this episode is going to be about. And with this description, it helps it a lot more. Also, it is to note that this is going to be a half-hour special. Next, after this, it's going to be Beta Parts 1 and 2. So, the description for this one reads, Amethyst acts strangely when she and Steven visit friends in the country. So, this one seems kind of strange enough already. So, Beta, I thought that was going to be something to do with, like, Homeworld or something to do with, like, gems not from Earth or something like that. But apparently, maybe so or maybe not. I mean, let's read the description again. Amethyst acts strangely when she and Steven visits friends in the country. So, it's not the country, so I'm guessing it is talking about Earth. But are we still talking about humans or are we talking about gems? I mean, the last person we saw Amethyst act kind of strangely over with somebody else would probably have to be when she met Vidalia. I mean, Vidalia does know that Amethyst does shape ship and can do all that stuff, but was Amethyst the only person who told her that? Or did she tell multiple people about her powers? And maybe Steven was there with her. Who knows? The next episode, we actually don't have a description for it. That's the only one out of every, everything else. But the episode is Earthlings, which is August 8th. We don't have a description for that one, but all the, all the next ones I'm going to tell you, they do have a description. But after that one, August 9th, we have Back to the Moon. And the description is actually kind of the same as the title. Steven and the Gems return to the moon base. So after from the episode Crack the Whip, we do know that the Crystal Gems, besides Amethyst and Steven went to the moon because Jasper went there even though she was in the ocean. But Steven and the gems returned to the moon base. Why is that? Why did they go back there for some reason? Anything could go wrong. They could have probably got maybe a message from Yellow Diamond, maybe stop something, who knows. I would say this is pretty interesting because last time we visited the moon, it was pretty hectic with Peridot and Garnet. And there was many stuff to talk about like with the diamonds. and. I feel like this episode is going to be one of the most interesting ones. But after that, we have Bubbled, which is Steven is stuck in a bubble. Best description ever. I would have to say that this is probably going to be a secondary episode and not anything important to the plot. So here's an episode that people have been really excited about, which was The Kindergarten Kid, which is airing August 11th. And the description reads, Steven and the Gems face a monster problem. So I don't know if this means a monster problem, like a big problem, or an actual monster problem. But due to the title, it being called The Kindergarten Kid, it would possibly mean that we're going back to the kindergarten. But the, when the description says Steven and the Gems face a monster problem, could it mean that we're probably going to see another Amethyst, or maybe even more Amethyst? Maybe, they're, maybe these are corrupt. Maybe these are other monsters, because last time we went to the kindergarten, we did see corrupt gems. So I'm not sure if we're going to see more of them. Maybe Jasper went to the kindergarten to get even more of those corrupt gems. Because currently Jasper is looking for corrupt gems to lead an army. Maybe they found Jasper there, and they're trying to stop her from getting more of these corrupt gems. But after that, on August 12th, we have Know Your Fusion. And this one reads, Steven and the Gems study what makes a fusion so special. So all you fusion lovers, this is going to seem a nice episode for you to see. Maybe Steven decided to think about fusion, decided to ask the gems more of the history of fusion, and this is probably what the episode is going to be about. And we are going to see multiple fusions. Who knows, maybe we'll see a fusion between Steven and the crystal gems. Who knows, guys, just who knows. But then after that, we have August 18th, which is Buddy's book. Steven visits the library with Connie and uncovers a long-lost book. Now, I can't recall um, 
any book that has some significance, except for that one episode where Steve and Connie were reading, like, Connie's favorite books, and Steven decided to read it. I doubt it would be about that. I would say it's more going to be a secondary episode where the title, based, not the title, the description basically gives it away. Steven and Connie probably go to the library, they discover a long lost book, and they have an adventure about it. That's what I would have to say. The next episode after that, August 25th, is going to be Mindful Education, and it reads, Steven and Connie learn to focus better. So I'm not quite sure if this means... They're going to focus on each other or fusion-wise. We could see both of them fusing again and then probably using their Stefani fusion for something like, you know, more controlling it for actual power now to use in the future. But then the last episode we're going to see, which is actually September 1st, is Future Boy Zoltron. And this episode seemed kind of strange at first, but now the description kind of gives it away. Steven tells people's fortunes at Fun Mad. So... I would say this is definitely going to be a secondary episode. I mean, the description basically gives it away. Steven tells people's fortunes at Funland. So, but that is basically it. So, that is it for all these descriptions of these episodes. So, what do you guys think of the episodes now? Do you think they're going to be interesting? Which one are you excited about the most? This is basically it, guys. I can't wait till these episodes air. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Peace out.